I'm very tender headed. I can't even comb my hair without crying. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohima Bonsu. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So, I went and got some knotless braids, okay? Like, so, I think a week ago, yeah, a week ago. About a week ago, I had, a week ago? About a week ago, I had Cuban twists in my hair. They were pretty, the color story was wild, and I loved it. And you know, that hair was like a month, almost a month and a half old. And I needed to, you know, freshen things up. I was gonna get the front rebraided and everybody else suggested I just get a whole new style. So that's what I went ahead and I did. So today I'm gonna show you my knotless braids. I'm, I'm gonna show you the process of getting the knotless braids on my 4C hair because I do have 4C, it's shorter. Oh, it's, my hair is about this long now right so it's that long the tips are colored and i got my knotless braids so if you want to see the process of getting knotless braids on 4c hair and if you want to hear from a tender-headed person i'm very tender-headed i can't even comb my hair without crying person whether it's worth getting knotless braids or not then keep on watching <laughs> I arrived at my hair at my hair appointment at one I want to say about 1 30 and we proceeded to take in the twists out of my hair I know I look crazy I look janky the light is not very flattering but you know what we can't all be sitting under custom lights with custom settings like all the time okay some of us have to go out in the real world into harsh lights and we have to face reality we're okay with that okay so she went ahead and she undid my twists one at a time and she would comb it as soon as she untwisted it disclaimer my braider likes to braid natural hair wet or damp but because i showed up with the hair twisted already she didn't want to go ahead and wet it she kept asking me i wouldn't have minded if she wetted it but you know she just wanted to keep it dry because i worked so hard to twist my hair and all of that but what she would do is she would undo one braid and you know comb it out and undo another braid and comb it out and i would undo some sides and she would comb it out you know so that's what we're doing and she combed everything out and this is what i look like with my hair combed out once again it's a process okay you guys know when you arrive at the salon you look crazy and then when you're leaving you look like somebody's wife okay right now i look after she undid it she went ahead and started out with the back so for this hair i'm using the gina collection pre-combed hair i got this hair in frederick maryland from the beauty supply store called classic beauty supply wow surprise wow wow <laughs> my gun is coming through so i got the hair from a beauty supply store called classic beauty supply store the store is very small and it's very clean and very neat and everything is like arranged in order you cannot miss it apparently it's one of the only stores in frederick maryland that sells this type of hair i did look online to see if i can get color because i wanted to have my tips be blonde but you know she, he, he didn't have the 1b 27 or whatever so i couldn't do that or 1b 60 something i couldn't do that so i just had to stick with this color i chose the color pc2 because it's not black and it's not brown it's a very weird color but it complements my skin tone very nicely but anyway let's get back to the hair so she went ahead and started with for the back of my head and she would you know she did the lines and she braided it
So the initial picture that I sent to her were of big braids. Like the braids were bigger than, you know, what she started out with. So she did one or two to show me the length and asked if I liked the length. And I was okay with the length until she showed me a picture of someone's hair she had done the day before. And that person got like really super long braids. So I said, can you just please go ahead and add a little bit of length to my hair? So she started making the braids longer and I was okay with that. I didn't know how long they were gonna be yet. And after she did like the third row, I told her I wanted them to be smaller, which is not what I actually initially went there for but she obliged and she made them slightly smaller than what the picture I had shown her. So this is her braiding it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch it. Just know that when my hair is getting braided, I told you guys I'm tender headed. My neck was like this. Cause I was like, no, 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 no. So I was like, no, 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 this hurts too much. I don't want it. So I, I was literally sitting like this the whole time. Okay. Because it hurts. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't hurt like how it would hurt if I was doing traditional braids. But you know, with the fact that somebody's something is going on on my head, I was like tensed up. So I look crazy. It, it, it happens. I'm not going to be cute while I'm getting my hair braided. Okay. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna look cute while I'm getting my hair braided. That's not gonna happen, okay? So, yeah, that's why I look like that. Bear with me, just watch the whole video, okay? Don't come for me for my no neck braiding session, okay? Don't come for me. I decided to stand up and see how long the hair was and I realized that this thing goes all the way down to my knees okay I can't show you guys because you know I'm gonna try to insert a picture um, I'm gonna insert a video somewhere in here like probably be a different day I'm gonna insert a video of me and Iron Man um, doing like I thought he was taking a picture but he was actually taking a video and this is how long the braids are they go all the way down to my knees like I am not kidding and I cannot stop playing with them because of how long they are. I just love playing with it, okay? I didn't show you guys when I did it how it looked in, you know. Okay, so this is how it looks like in the back of my head. It's not a lot of braids, for sure. I mean, 
it's not less braid so it's essentially it looks like you just put some uh, some braids in your hair and so that makes your scalp side really really light and it actually doesn't pull on your head like there's no super tension on your head trying to make it nice and tight so it can last long but you know it, I don't mind the size of it it's super super long that when I do a bun it's equally as big as my big hair buns and that's that's like the only thing so this is what it looked like and this is how long it is for real for real for real the hair is super nice i really like the actual braiding hair i cannot stop playing with it if you're someone who's allergic to synthetic canicolon 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 hair make sure you buy the hair in advance and wash it before you use it my scalp gets really really itchy with them but i didn't buy it and wash it before I braided with it. I didn't listen to my own advice. I, I wanted to but I just couldn't do it So I just left it the way it is the pro is if you're tender-headed like me And you always like braids, but you couldn't get them because they hurt too much now you can get braids Okay, you can get them whatever size you want in according to how long your hair is Of course, it's still gonna take us like a day or two to adjust Whereas if I had gotten regular traditional braids, it would take me a week and a half to two weeks for my scalp to actually calm down from being so angry about being so tight, okay? But with this one, it literally took me like two days and everything was okay, which is like phenomenal. With these kinds of braids, your scalp does not itch half as badly as it does with the traditional braids, okay? Traditional braids, after like two, three days, my scalp is on fire and for the next week or week and a half, it's very 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 itchy with this one my scalp has recently started itching which was like yesterday and that's about it and she did tell me while she was braiding my hair that my scalp was dry because i didn't put any oil or anything on my scalp before i went of course when i got home i don't think i put i haven't put oil on my scalp since i've been home yet so that might actually be contributing to why my scalp is itchy because it is dry but it is not half as itchy as my regular as regular braids would make my scalp itchy so right now i am okay you know what i'm okay my third pro is that my face is not super super tight because every time i get traditional braids my face is so tight i look like an alien and it is crazy and i don't like the first week or week and a half of me having traditional braids but with this one my face looked subtle it looked normal it looked okay so i didn't have to like hide for a few days before i had to you know show my face i was actually okay going out the very next day which was fantastic okay the other pro is that you're able to pick up your hair like within the first second as soon as your hair is done braiding you can literally put up your hair and you will be okay depending on how tight whoever's braiding it made it or the direction in which they put it in but you can pick it up and not worry about your edges sliding out of your scalp okay so that's a pro about this but i will still suggest that you wait like a day like three days before you start manipulating it because whatever happens it's going to be some tightness it's not going to be as bad but there's going to be some tightness and you still want to take precaution or you want to be careful not to pull your edges out okay so in the next few weeks i'm going to share with you guys how i'm maintaining it and how i'm preventing the frizz from taking over my scalp okay i'm a new person okay this is actually going to be my new go-to style whether it's kinky twist any kind of braid any kind of hair that i'm going to braid i'm going to braid knotless okay like i'm knotless for life okay hey. <laughs> i actually did something on trend for once like usually i wait usually by the time i catch on to it the trend is already over and you know now i'm trying it but for once i actually tried something on trend props 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 to myself thank you guys so much for coming on this journey to get knotless braids with me let me know down below in the comments if you've tried knotless braids and how you feel about it let me know how you maintained it let me know if you're going to try knotless braids if you're tender-headed and now you know you can get braids okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye it's beautiful so I can't say the baby, mommy gets so beautiful.